Welcome back, everyone, to another episode <laughs> of the GigaHub Weekly Show. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Where we talk about things that are important to us but may not be important to you. I am right. host one of three, Luis De La Torre. I am Adam Kren. I am Daikaiju Tony. Why did you sound confused? I'm, that's my secret. <laughs> I'm Adam. I'm always, I'm always confused. confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Adam Kren. <laughs> are you an alien in, in Adam's skin? Is Maybe. that why? <laughs> I am human. I am human. Um, before we continue, let us talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, right. the jewel of the Mojave Desert. Right, right. Uh, let's not let's not get anything twisted, guys. We're here to sell you things. Right. Things that you want, though. Cosmic things Comics that is you, here to sell you things, and you know things that you want and need. Though we Big got bills. comic books, we got toys, we got statues and apparel and. Piggy yeah, banks, buttons, yeah. lanyards, right. just everything your nerdy heart desires. Um, let's show them some of the stuff that we got. What do you got? Spider-Man drinking I thought, glass. I thought you were drinking out of it. It comes in pints. Yes. It's it one, comes in pints. That's it's hard. One, McFarlane one, Spider-Man. One pint. One of the best Spider-Man ever. Right. Uh, that reminds me of an anecdote of a friend who recently passed away. He, he made that joke we were at a bar. Um, he made that joke like, "Oh, it comes in pints." Comes in pints. He's he forgot like when we got when he got the beer, <laughs> he forgot like they were hobbits, so it looked like really big. And yeah. he was like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> Wait, was he actually expecting to get a big old uh, beer as free. a pint? Yeah, like, it dude, was, it's a it dude, free, it's a yeah. pint. Yeah, yeah, it was free. That's funny. That's yeah. great. Oh, uh, oh, the, oh! Now I feel sad because the yeah, disappointment. Yeah. Well, no, I remember the happy memory of it. No, 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 no! I'm talking yeah. about like the disappointment of like they have pints here. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah I'm gonna yeah. drink me a big old bit. Oh. Like, oh, right! <laughs> They're hobbits. I am not a hobbit. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's why it looks so big. Yeah, yeah. I had a pint of pearl like a couple days ago. It's like this big. Um, nice. Mm. So good. All right, it's what good. do you got? What do you uh, what do I have? Do have okay, hold box. on. Let me just. Oof, I gotta stretch because this thing it's is gonna monstrous. Yeah. This thing is monstrous and heavy. I have the Conan the Barbarian. Yeah. Board game, uh, mature this, content. Mature content. Oh man, oh, I wonder what kind of pictures they have in some of those cards. Yeah, right. Given you know Conan's that, way with that, women. This game has so many minis, guys. It's, it's almost worth it just Let for me the just, minis. Here's yeah. the thing. Here's the thing. Like you, I buy board games like right. this now, not for the game, but for, for the, the minis, minis for yeah. like D for D and D. Right. And like, look at these minis. I'm gonna get out of the right. way real quick. Look at these. Can you oh, see them? Yeah. Oh yeah. It comes with so many minis. So many minis. Yeah. Big rubber snake that Arnold stabs. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. many like bandits and monsters. It's right. it's great, yes. but it's super heavy. It so it's, it's a, a big boy. Ooh, it's, it's a, a big board game box. where you crush your enemies, see, see them driven before, before you, and, and hear, hear the, the lamentations, lamentations of the of women. women. Yep. All right. All right. What you got? All right, I got some. That was cool. good. What was that from? Conan. Conan. <laughs> Wait, you knew that. I knew. That. All right. Um. <laughs> the worst best movie. Yeah. It's a terrible. It's a terrible Conan movie. But it's, but a, it's a really sword good sword and sorcery, sorcery movie. movie. Kind of yeah. like how same feelings I get for Batman. You know? Hawk <laughs> right. the Slayer, dude. All right, Hawk um, the Slayer. There's that some so cool bad. comics with you know Hulk and Rhino. These are, these are back issues playing so these baseball. Are old things. Nice, yeah. You got Hulk and a Rhino. A bunch of what if books. What if Spider Man has kept his six arms from the very famous Spider Amazing Spider Man issue 100 from back in the day? Dang. What if Craven Hunter had killed Spider Man? Never. Yeah. <laughs> I liked Craven. Yeah. I thought he should have been a lot. What uh, if? Spider Man had kept his cosmic powers and stayed, you know, Captain Universe. See that? Here, hold that one up again because I don't think you really got it. The only thing I didn't get about that issue is you don't have a choice to keep <laughs> Captain Universe powers. They come and go to whoever sort of has great need. Yeah, right. like Eddie. So, Eddie yeah. got it yeah. recently. Yeah. And there was another oh, yeah. one, but unfortunately, it sold. What if the Gla what if the Avengers had to fight Galactus instead of the Fantastic Four? And to that, I'd say they die. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. I also we also have pops, including some relatively rare and hard to find pops, like these amazing Junji Ito collection pops. Slug girls. Mm. Yeah, just and Suichi. That Suichi piece Suji. of crap teenager. <laughs> yeah, smug. They're freaky but looking, so but they look I, cool as hell yeah. for sure. The uh, the actually the Miss Fuchi pop is probably the creepiest pop I've ever oh, seen. Oh yeah, I should have grabbed I should have grabbed that one. That Don't worry, like creepy. if you if you watch if you read the Suichi stories, Miss yeah. Fuchi, well, it's implied that she eats that kid. <laughs> oh wow, hmm. oh, okay. For yeah. playing a mean prank on a girl. Right. With anyway, like, you know, for the kids, so get come some on get some pops for the kids. Come on, come on down to Cosmic Comics. Yeah, and get right. some stuff. Get stuff. Yeah, listen, guys. Stuff. You know what you could use more of? Stuff. Stuff. And why? If you're gonna get stuff, why not make it cool stuff? We have all the cool stuff here. That's right. Yeah. So come on Where down. Cool kids go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right, and now we're about to get really serious. <laughs> Are we? Uh, this episode. Do we have to? Yeah. yeah. We're going to talk. It's just that I got so hyped with uh, where the cool kids go. All like, right. I'm like, oh, I am a cool kid, and like now we got to go back now. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. We're going to talk about the industry, and, I, and not the comic book necessarily industry, but more the film industry I mean, or the movie-going industry, <laughs> yes. how it's evolved over COVID in the last mm. year, and... Of course, that ties into Scarlett Johansson's lawsuit and what's that? What that means mm-hmm. for everything. So, right. I mean, how do you how do you guys want to start? I um, uh, want to start with the lawsuit. Well, let's, you know um, what? No, no. no. Let's, let's start with the, let's start with it. with the streaming the, and like yeah, how it's changed because uh, of COVID. So that's a good baseline, I think. I mean, you know, studios in an effort not to lose money. Yes. Um, they started offering up sort of big release pictures on the streaming services during the pandemic on HBO right. you know Plus, um, yeah. as a way to recoup some of their the, money I think there was the only two I don't know if Hulu or um, Amazon did anything like that I think they did Amazon I don't know if Amazon did but because I'm pretty sure say HBO did HBO Netflix did, did Netflix did oh Netflix did yeah, yeah. Army of the Dead dude yeah. oh yeah well was that made for Netflix? Or was no, it was in be theaters, too. Oh, it, oh, theater yeah, too. it does feel like a made-for-Netflix movie. Yeah, <laughs> it, does, yeah it, does. it does feel like a made-for-TV movie. Talk about a movie with tonal issues. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> we already talked about that movie. You can right. go back and yeah. listen to that. Yes. Yeah. Um, Play Left 4 Dead, kids. Um, <laughs> you have a better experience. So, uh, the thing is, how, you know, you, we don't, as 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 standard citizens, like you can see, like box office receipts, what a movie makes in most cases is public knowledge. Yeah. Yes. Um, because a lot of those companies are corporations and they have to report that. Yes. So it becomes public knowledge, but not every movie, but most movies. But streaming is a little different. We don't have access to that. So, um, at this point, does it feel like to you that more and more now? The recently released Suicide Squad, as well as some others that I know I'm missing. Like, I mean, we yeah. can't really, I, I don't know if you can count those or not, because in this country, anyway, it seems like we're almost going back into lockdown because of, well, cultural things. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, do you, do you, in your opinion, do you think this is just the way, do you think the pandemic was just forcing what was naturally happening anyway? I th- it, I think it definitely played a part in forcing that sort of forcing the hand of like movie movie companies to to do that. I mean, we're yeah. already getting stuff delivered straight to your home now. Like right. even streaming services right now are so popular. Yeah. Right. Like Disney it was, Plus it w- does it too, but they're mm. making pay. They're making you pay. They're making you pay hefty, for the movie on hefty top premium, on yeah. top of the subscription, subscription service. Yeah. So and it's pretty hefty. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so, um, no, I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to dunk him for that. Okay, maybe I will. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I think this was just a natural progress. I think we, it was only a matter of time before we were going to go to I mean, movies was, that have been streaming in, that would be streaming into your home in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, and it was certainly the fear even back mm-hmm. in the '80s with cable television. No, oh, this is going to kill and VHS. This is going to kill the market. Yeah. You know. I, but I think, yeah, in a time where we're getting everything <laughs> brought to us, we don't have right. to go seek things out. You can just have whatever you want come to you. Right. It was only a matter of time before movies would be the same way. Right. And but I think yeah you're right the pandemic really sort of forced that to happen a lot sooner than I think people were anticipating. Right. Um. Do you think it's going to continue or are we going to start seeing at least for a while? We're going to. Is this the death of the movie theater? Finally, I guess is what I'm saying. Do you think it is? No, um. Maybe not. You don't think so? We got to consider that there's you know movie theaters all across the country, not country, well right. across the world. I know Japan is like barely recovering, and like they just managed to recover enough to. Um, release the last Evangelion movie and ho- in theaters. In theaters, and hopefully Shin God, um, Shin Ultraman, whenever that finishes post production. Huh. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, well, no, I I would, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm not quite sure, but like just in sort of my experience, I do like going to the movies. Yeah. Yes. Right. So I would hope not. I think there is something to be said about having the option to stay home. And pay for a movie like on the Disney Plus, or if you want to go out to watch a movie, I think that's also that's also like a viable thing to to be able to do. I still want to be able to go out to a to a movie theater and yes. watch a movie. Yeah. Yes. Right. Like I like what did I just watch? I just I watched Black Widow in a movie theater. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah. Just because, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. It was okay. It was okay. okay. We can talk about the legend. Definitely better than Aquaman, but it was okay. <laughs> um, the point was, the point was, was that sort of that specific night? Like, I, I wanted to, I wanted to go out to a movie theater. I didn't want to stay home. I wanted right. to go out and do something, and it seemed like a movie theater was the best thing. I think there are still people who feel that way. I mean, would you guys say that you feel that way? Like, yeah. you still feel the need to go out to a movie theater? Um, yes. No. <laughs> no? I think... Like, not at all? I, you know, and I, I know I am I'm kind of... Even, I got a few years on you, too. I think as I've gotten older, I'm just like, yeah, I don't want to go to the theater. <laughs> but then I get things like, which I'm much more apt to go to the theater on, you get things like Riff Tracks Live. Yeah. I, I'd yeah. love to go to the theater for those. Yes. They're fun. Or you get like Jaws, 50th or 40th anniversary, whatever it Hell is. Hell yeah. yeah. You know, I love doing that kind of stuff. That's but it's awesome. just like there are yeah. very, I can honestly say in the last few years, there are very few movies where I felt like I got to go see that. But I think, yeah. I think <laughs> very that, few. I think the point Hence is that why that, I haven't seen Black Widow or yeah. Aquaman or. <laughs> <laughs> I think the point is is like there is still a need and a want for those things. Okay. Right. Like even if it's even like in your case, it's not a lot, yeah. but the need is still there. Yeah. I guess. Right. Like Tony, most of the most of the movies we review, you you watch in theaters. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. There I was is say you see them in theaters, we stream them. <laughs> yeah. There there is something definitely yeah. to be said about right. being able to go to the movies and right. just have that like big screen big Audio. sound experience yeah you know and honestly and of the, course dates right the I mean, last movie yeah. i can think of that i saw in theaters that i was just like i'm so glad i saw this in the theater was yeah. probably fury road yeah, yeah. because that movie's just it's art yeah you can't <laughs> you can't talk enough that movie's so rare because you can you can't i don't know like you can't you know how like people can overhype a movie and then you watch it and you're like, you can't do that to that movie. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's like the last movie I can remember like, seeing in a theater. I was just like, my Whoa. God. Like, wow. So, okay. Yeah. So, so what, what, what do you think then? Do you think that uh, this could be the, um, the death of the movie theater? Or? Well, I, I don't think so completely. I, I think maybe we'll see less theaters mm. yeah. um, or at least we'll see some closures, at least in the short run. You know, I, I think it's an industry that seems to always bounce back. But, you know, here's the thing that seems to me, even over the last five years, which something I've noticed, I should have brought up, I should have did some research, but I didn't. But this was just more observation. It does seem like less and less dramatic films appear in theaters now. They go straight to streaming. Yeah. And now theaters are reserved for, like, big Big budget movies, yeah. super big, movies, big budget movies, and the byproduct, the negative byproduct of that is now you get things like, and I know I've complained about this movie before. You get movies like Guardians of the Galaxy two or like, you know, Thor Fast Ragnarok and the Furious. or the Fast and the Furious, where they think they have to hit all these different. You got to have, you know, there's got to be a funny character, and there has to be this, and there has to be. It's like a checklist of crap of storytelling yeah. bs mm. and i think because of that you get a lot of movies that just are like i guess the average cookie per- cutter yeah the average yeah. person yes. likes them apparently i don't <laughs> right. formulaic but itself. yeah very formulaic very perfunctory nothing that yeah. takes way too much risk it's, like you know yeah and you get yeah. you know and i know we last week reviewed uh suicide squad you get a movie where that does check all the boxes but you clearly have a much more skilled Director, and it's, <laughs> yeah, it's done yeah. where good. where clearly most of Hollywood is not filled with skilled directors. Yeah, so. not skilled. Definitely just the yeah. the kind of directors that can do the job. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Just like sort of bare minimum. This guy can direct. Sure, let's put him on yeah. whatever movie. Yeah, People yeah. are gonna watch it, and so you know we just I, use this formula to make it. I it's, think you're still gonna get that. Yeah. I, I don't know for how long. Yeah. Um, but I think you're still gonna get yeah, that. Like I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if A24 like it would be like a streaming exclusive. Like oh, A24 cut a deal with Netflix on yeah, yeah, A24 right, films right. that are gonna be on Netflix only. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I don't know how theater going experiences are in other countries. I know, like I, I, I did have the privilege of living in Europe for a few oh. years. There wasn't as many movie theaters as there was here, but I don't know. Damn. That was years ago now, so I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know anymore. I think. I th- this is what I think is going to be what happens is 
I think the big blockbuster movie is your Fast and the Fear, your Fast yeah. Nine or whatever, yeah. is gonna be Fast Fifteen. Yeah, is going to be like family. The, the <laughs> <laughs> colon the best, family. The best meme going around family. right now. Yeah. Um, I think you're gonna get those movies that are definitely going to be like the blockbusters, the money makers. Right. Those are going to be like specifically in theaters. To make money. Right. And then you're going to take a movie like like we reviewed Suicide Squad last week, right. which you can put in theaters and stream it, right? And it won't... Yeah, I wonder how that does overall. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You're no, in the middle of well, a thought. <laughs> what I'm saying is like a smaller movie, at least in comparison to like a Fast 9. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like something Was like... Is it a smaller movie? Well, compared to Fast 9... Uh, okay. Yeah. I think that a lot of... Like, stuff like that is definitely going to be in this gray area of we're going to do a theater run and we're also going to do a streaming run. Right. You know what I mean? As yeah. opposed to movies that'll just get a streaming run or movies that'll just be put in theaters like, like a Fast 9 you or know, like a Marvel movie. And maybe that hits on a good point maybe we're going to see more of that even in the future as the pandemic finally hopefully goes away um if we quit getting variants um maybe we'll see more of that maybe you'll see simultaneous streaming and movie theater i don't know i like the idea of having both things honestly because yeah. i i do like having the choice of do i want to go out or do i just kind of want to stay home and chill out and watch yeah. you know suicide squad or or whatever like but if the movie doesn't make money you're not going to see that yeah 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 um, which of course leads into part of this argument or part of this discussion. Did you have anything to add to that before no, we get an old no. Scar Joe? Uh, <laughs> Terrible nickname, by the way. Scar Joe. Scarlett Johansson's recent lawsuit <laughs> against Disney. My name's Scar Joe. Um, you know, a lot of people, and you hear this a lot, like, "Oh, this, she's a greedy bitch" or whatever. And it's just like. It's so just, just let's let's just yeah. like refresh everyone yeah, on what's yeah. going on. So Scarlett Johansson, right, is suing Marvel. Why? Yes. Right. Okay. And where are we? Where are we now with that? Because I haven't been following that. I only know, uh, like, where, w- just sort of down the trail. Where are we? Well, ultimately, what she's suing for, and this is why, you know, this is this is tied to the very topic of the discussion. Is what she's suing about is the fact that her, and it didn't start with her. This went on. I think the first time I heard about it, I want to say was Stallone. Oh damn! Years ago, I want to say in the nineties. Wait, what? What they would do is to basically entice big names. The studios would say, "Oh, we'll give you, you know, let's say, let's say Stallone's quote in the '90s was 10 million, and I don't know, I'm I'm making these figures up, but mm-hmm. this is getting to the point I'm trying to make. Um, they would say, "Well, we can't pay 10 million but, right off the bat, but we want you to take the risk with us." So what we'll do is we'll pay you seven million and then give you two percent off the back end, basically tied to whatever the movie makes in box offices. Net, not gross, kids, remember. Oh, well, yeah, that's the other problem that Stallone is actually publicly bitched about, actually. Yeah. Where, you know, you you do the numbers like 2%, okay, the movie made $100 million, hey, that's another that's another $2 million, right? right. Oh, no, 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 after this, after this, after that, after that, after that that's like $0.8 million. <laughs> like, yeah. well, that's not what you told me, but that's what the contract says. Yeah. You know, so that's sort of been a way that Hollywood's done business where they manipulate. It's like they manipulate the way the actor gets paid in certain ways. And how this directly leads to Scarlett Johansson is that that was her contract for Black Widow had to do with part of her salary is tied to box office take. Well, now the movie's streaming. And not only is it streaming, but isn't that a premium on Disney Plus as well? I believe she doesn't so, get yeah. that. Because, because that's it's not, not box office theater right. receipts, right? Mm. Now that's to say you could say, yeah, she's greedy. She's greedy, right? But that's sure. I don't think I don't think that's why she's doing it. I think she's doing it because she's I think she's doing it more for the future of actors and how I could get paid. I think she's doing it for the futures of actor equity. I well, because yeah. because the movie studios have a history of kind of manipulating these contracts as a certain way, and she's big enough to where she can make the point to say no. This needs to change, and right. until somebody really stands up and says, no, this needs to change, it's not going to change. Well, 
I think that, I mean, think about it like this, right? Right. I think the peop- the reason people have a problem with her doing this, calling her greedy or whatever, well, it's, it's yeah. because she makes a butt ton of money. She makes a butt ton right? of money. Like she's right? Like, she's a big star. She's a big right. name. She makes a butt ton of money. But yes. think, about, think about her if she was like a cashier. And someone well, was, and that's and, true and someone too. was that's like, the other side of someone it, yeah. was like, "We'll pay you this much, and for every sale you right. make, you get so much." Right. But then they find a way to sort of screw you out it's, of that. It's kind of like, like yeah, tax it, or uh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, I'll go let ahead. Let you finish your thought. Well, oh, well, it's like a waitress with mm-hmm. tips. Yeah. Well, whatever tips you can take. Well, no, now you got to pay taxes on them. Oh, but also now you have to pay a busboy. Oh, but also you should probably pay the dishwashers too. And also you should probably do this, and you should probably do that. Yeah. Well, that's not what you told me. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. So I, I think everyone is sort of focusing on the fact that she she does make a lot of money. Like what right. she's not happy with ten million. Like yeah, dude, that's not what it's about. That's not what the it, point? What yeah. it's about is it's equity. What yeah, what you are worth to these people. Right. Right. And getting what you're worth these. If you're and, worth and ten them million, following through on yeah, what they. Yeah. If you're worth ten million, and then they find some way to not give you ten million. Anyone would be upset with that. Right. Right? Yeah. The only difference is she's got a job where she makes a butt ton of money. Uh, if right. you at the steel mill was promised a certain thing, a certain amount of money, and they found some reason not to give you all of it, you would be right. angry. Yeah. Yeah. You would do the same thing. Well, uh, we're going to take uh, this much out for work boots or whatever. Yeah, we're yeah. going to take this much out for this. And yeah. We're going to make this much out for... But that's not what you told me. Yeah. 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 It's Yeah, exactly. That's a good way to put it, too. And I think... <laughs> I think... You know, the truth is, when this all comes to a head or this all the dust settles, she's not getting her money. Yeah, she most won't, not. and mm. and I think she knows that. It's in right. Disney's I, lawyers. I, yeah, yeah, exactly, and I think she knows that. That's not the point. What she's going to do is she's going she's to create, change the yeah, way the yeah, contracts she's, are written. She's yeah. going to create this sort of movement where actors can say like. Listen, this what is what this is, yeah, yeah, this is what I'm worth and right. I want to make sure that you're not going to burn me on streaming That's, or what yeah, have you like back end streaming and all this. Unfortunately, all yeah, she's going to take a hit, but yeah. like I feel like it's she for the that, it's yeah. for the greater good, right? I, I mean, I guarantee in a month of, or so it's going to get settled out of court. Yeah. It's probably going to be some meager lump sum, but that's not the point. That's and but that's not the point. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's going to be about restructuring contracts. Sure, yeah. Yeah, so and I get it. It's hard to feel bad for someone who makes yeah. ten million dollars a movie or whatever yeah, she gets paid right, to make right. a movie. Like I, 20, I, underst- I, think, yeah. I understand like that sort of aspect yeah. of it, but at the same time, like this is her job. Right. This yeah. is what she does. And if she were doing anything else, you would be all for it. If this was happening to you at your regular job, you would be all all yeah, for so. suing somebody out of you know not giving you your money. Here is a recent quote by Galan Hurd, which by the time this airs, it won't be so recent, but that's Ooh. okay. Uh, Gail Ann Hurd is a producer. She was uh, she was married to James Cameron for a while, I believe. And I mean, she's, why is James Cameron guy? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but so she's, she's been Avatar a producer. Movies. Yeah, she's been a producer since the eighties. Um, why should anyone be surprised? I heard Disney leaked her salary is twenty million, but why is that so surprising? She opens movies around the world. She is clearly someone who can do so with consistency, and no one questions male actor salaries. I do think that women are judged differently to men in the entertainment industry. Yes, progress yeah. is going to take time. You don't change people's attitudes and their perceptions and biases and the biases they already have overnight. However, we're making a great deal of progress towards that. So many more films. Whether they be Nomadland or Wonder Woman, Gail Ann Hurd snuck in a couple plugs, hmm. are led by women and are proving successful. You have the DC Universe starring Marvel, starring women, the Marvel Universe starring women, and then you have Oscar winners starring women. That's her quote. So, first of all, dir- like dirty know, tactic to publish how much she made. I know they did that probably to get public opinion well, on their exactly. side, right? Oh, she makes yeah. how much? Yeah. Yeah. Why is she complaining? She got $20 million. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's not the point. So Gail Han, Gail Han, Gail Ann Heard. I'm not sure what she's saying here. It almost sounds like a backhanded compliment. <laughs> sure. Um, I don't know. It's kind of, kind of a. Uh, I mean, she understands the industry, yeah. of course. Um, she's not surprised by the legal battle, even she's... though she says the changes were happening anyway. So I'm not sure what she was going for right. by that statement. Huh. But I mean, she clearly thinks it'll help. Yeah. Further that change. And look, I look, I understand people's sort of I, I don't know what you'd call it, like I understand they're sort of they're 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 rushed to this judgment right. of like, but she makes so much money, like right. right, she does, and you know what? I'm not gonna lose sleep over the fact that she lost out on and a couple million. That's what I'm saying. She's not gonna get the money she's asking right. for. She knows that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right, but I'm not going to lose sleep over that. Right, yes. but that's not the point. That's not, that's the, not point. the that's not the issue here. Right. The issue was that they found a way to screw someone out of money right. that they are worth. Well, in the pandemic, I mean, it's unfortunate, and I, I think Disney. <laughs> far be it for me to give Disney too much sympathy. I think you know how I feel about Disney as a whole. Um, Go ahead, Adam. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. oh, um, your opinion matters. You to know, me. but from a business standpoint, I mean, mm. they're in a they're in a tough spot too. If you take this movie as an individual thing, sure. Um, you know, this in, this movie costs so much to make. It has now been on the shelf for almost a year and a half. Yeah, mm-hmm. we can't just release it on theaters. We have to figure out a way to get. So to recoup some of this money. Yes. So, I mean, from a purely business standpoint, you know, they're in a tough spot, too. Because, you know, the, the longer... I mean, this, I don't think this is a spoiler. She dies in Endgame. Yes. And, 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 I, and I don't mean... I don't mean... I don't mean Snap dies. She died. She straight up dies. She's yeah. dead. She's not Splat coming back. Pavement. Right. So, um, so, you know, this movie, the longer... You sit on it, the less anybody's going to care about yeah, that yeah. character. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, from a business standpoint, they're kind of in a tough spot, Plus, too. I'm per- because of this, I'm pretty sure Black Widow will never make any more appearances in the MCU. Because Black Widow did take place in between Civil War yeah, and this was, War. Yeah, this was... Yeah, like, yeah. I don't think they're going to gonna use her ever again. Right. <laughs> because I, th- I think the issue is just they just handle it crappily. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. I mean... Anyway, continue. I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. No, no, that's okay. Oh, yeah, you're, you're um, right. Because, well, then again, in the movie Black Widow, the character they introduced, I forgot her name, Blonde Black Widow. Yeah. She's just there to replace Scarlett Johansson, basically. Yeah. I think now we're at that point she's in She's 10 years younger or whatever. Well, as I like Well, first of all, as an actress, I, do love I, I, her. I, I love yeah. her. I think she's I love great. Her, yeah. She. I don't I saw, know how to pronounce Did last you watch name, Little Women? No. She was very miscast in Little Women. Yeah, was she? Um, oh, yeah. She played the youngest sister, and she looked <laughs> older than everybody. God damn. What yeah. So, um,. But that that's not the issue. The issue is I think we're getting into a lot of like these sort of secondary versions of primary heroes, right? Like right. Uh, who's taking over Captain America as um, Falcon. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like who's who's taking great. over? Yeah, no, of course he's great. He but I mean great. like we're going to enter this yeah. part yeah. where like all these big actors are starting to walk away from these roles. Yeah. And now they have to find people to sort of replace, replace them. them. Because yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure Robert Downey Jr., he didn't want to be Iron Man forever because he's been Iron Man for like roughly about 10 years. Well, and he's no kid either. I mean he's, what, 57? <laughs> yeah. Something like that, yeah. He's 50, something like that, yeah. But yeah. Ooh. Because unlike a comic book, you can't we have people right. age in real life, right? Yeah. Oh, or, or Especially the, when yeah. these movies take three years to produce. Yeah, every movie like three years, three years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's only a matter of time before the next Avengers movie is going to be all like primary Avengers played by different characters, right? Well, yeah, uh, you think they would do that anyway, but yeah. I mean, they sure. did it with the Hulk once or twice. <laughs> well, <laughs> once technically in the MCU. Yeah, uh, but, um, we, Disney doesn't like to acknowledge that. Yeah, I know it's so stupid. I know. Oh yeah, Rhodey, <laughs> James right. Rhodey. Um, Although, yeah, Don Cheadle's no kid. Yeah. No, really, I, I no. love Don Cheadle, but he ain't no kid either. Yeah. You know? yeah. Anyway, um, just to wrap up our point. So, yeah, so, I mean, tell us what you guys think. Do you think this is the new way? Do you think theaters are going to disappear completely? Is this better or worse? Is this better or worse? Yeah. Do you think Scarlett Johansson is being greedy, or do you think this is an important move towards not... <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Towards uh, act, not only actor mm-hmm. actor equity, but what also Gail Ann Hurd kind of suggested, but yeah. also women in the industry equity as well. Yeah. Yes. All I ask <coughs> for people is that you sort of just think about yeah. this as a person with a job. Right. Don't think yeah, about how yeah. much money they make mm-hmm. or who this person is. Think about it as if a person with position, a job. If yeah. you were in that position at your job right now, right. you would be angry. You'd do the same thing. No one would call you greedy. Yes. Right. Right. But the fact that you made. 18 million when you're supposed to get paid 20 million you know what i mean like that right. that would make you just as angry it's like hey that would, yeah, that that's would not what i was you'd promised. that and you'd probably yeah. do the same thing so right. Right. just sort of think about it in that aspect right. any final thoughts before we get out of here or? tell us what your favorite Scarlett Johansson movie is and why is it under the skin <laughs> 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 yeah, i yeah that movie i mean it was interesting to watch and i'm glad i saw it yes but the finale really didn't was kind of dumb <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> it's like let let's make a movie about an alien, but then we're gonna write it from a very human perspective. Yeah. Wh- what? <laughs> she's I I don't know. Uh, I yeah. couldn't. I don't know if I could name my favorite Scarlett Johansson movie. She's not one of my favorite actors. Like I'm not gonna go watch a movie just because Scarlett Johansson's in it. I I think she did a lot of good things, but then I think you know. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't. I mean, I'm her. just saying, like, no, no, I don't dislike her, but like, you're not going to sell me on a movie because Scarlett Johansson is in it. The Island. The Island is that surprisingly is a, good a good movie. Hell yeah, it is. It's Thank you. It's surprisingly a good yes. movie. And it's, it's for a Michael it's a director, Bay, yeah, it's a Michael director Bay movie. I traditionally do not like. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I do like that movie. I do like that movie. Underrated. It's a great movie, yeah. Mm-hmm. I forgot she was in that. You know yeah. what's funny is the movies he tends to spend more time on and care more about, Michael Bay, is the movies that don't do well. I can see why that guy's jaded and he's kind of sh- shitty when he talks to like fans and stuff. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like... The movies he cares about, they don't do nothing. Well, well imagine like if the island is a very serious science fiction movie that has <laughs> some action in it. Imagine yeah. going out right. and everyone just accuses you of violating their childhood, right? Yeah. right? Like every day, like yeah, yeah. you, Michael Bay, you you messed up my childhood. Like how? How those how? movies made yeah. tons of money? Yeah. Screw yes. you! Yeah, your childhood's fine. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So any final yeah. thoughts? Let it, no, no, not. Eh. I I think I've said everything that needs to be said or that i can say yeah um i again i take it from a perspective of a job Mm -hmm. you were promised a certain pay for that job and you're not getting that pay what would you do yeah Yeah. and then of course there's this bigger picture of you know she's not the only actress who's sylvester sloan has years ago complained about the very same thing about how they kind of manipulate the numbers to kind of what role did he got screwed over with i i don't remember what it was i I, for some reason demolition man keeps popping around my head but i don't think that's right i don't think it was that you guys i love demolition man we got to do a whole episode on demolition oh hell yeah um judge red light we got to talk about while we're talking (laughs) yeah yeah yeah, we'll we'll have some nachos bel grande while we're talking about any 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 uh hmm Plugs or recommendations? Plugs or recommendations. What do you guys got? Uh, Toku Titan Cast on Titan Goji's channel. Nice. I appear there occasionally. And also, you got a channel too, right? Yes, I got Take a channel, Tony's but channel. I rarely upload in there. <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> I have one uh, video planned that I'm sort of making. I just need to get my butt off and. Oh, I'm gonna make go. this real awkward right now. Okay, can we be in it? <sighs> what? <laughs> really? Ah! It's, supposed to, it's supposed to be a hip uh, and young channel meant, oh, for, oh, meant for edgy teenagers oh, oh, and, and <laughs> me, me, meant for... I am aged. That hurts my heart. <laughs> meant, me, me, meant for people who like vanilla ice And on you're no rock. longer in the demographic. Oh you're just I, aged out. I just aged out of that demographic <laughs> of the 18 to 35. I just <laughs> aged out. It's meant for like the demographic who find vanilla ice awesome unironically. <laughs> mm. What? <laughs> I don't. I don't even think we did thought he was awesome. No, I never thought he was awesome. But ironically, I think he's awesome. <laughs> Although, uh, ironically, respect for not giving in to peer pressure. <laughs> yeah, though for yeah. being honest, like, oh no, it's for youngins. <laughs> um, just, yeah, people can just see him yeah. at the time. Uh, T Public slash GoFriendress or uh, Oddity Collectibles. Ooh, that's, that's my, right. That's, that's my t-shirt. t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, um, awesome. Yeah. I don't have anything to plug. Um, <laughs> I don't really do anything. Just like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh also doesn't have anything to plug. <laughs> except except, honey. except the hole that he was trying to get out except of. <laughs> <laughs> the chubby don't bastard. The bear. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have anything to cat or to uh to uh, promote, at least not yet. All right. Nice. Noise. Uh, yeah. My only fans will be coming out soon. <laughs> uh all right, so <laughs> <laughs> It's not what you think. Want to see my left butt cheek? <laughs> I want to see one butt cheek. It's the best butt cheek. Uh, you don't want to see no the pimples. Want yeah, me it's to the shove this SH Monster Godzilla 2000 that has spikes in his back up oh. my ass. Oh. Oh. Wow, Antonio, wow. my good. I'm spicy. Antonio, when, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, when can we Octavia expect Octavia Sarazawa? Yeah. I wouldn't do that to SH Monster Arts. When can Dude, we expect bigger? Maybe. When can we expect that video to drop? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, wow. Anyway, right, 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 anyway, there you go. So, yeah, let us know what you think. Hit the subscribe button uh, to make sure you get all our videos as they come out. Um, right. We're trying to do things more consistently. We've yes. had a few problems, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. We should be, we're trying to be a lot more consistent from here on out. Yeah, yeah. right. So, uh, yeah, do, uh, <laughs> yeah right. do hit the right. No, right. No, <laughs> I, right. I'm with you. <laughs> okay. We're going to try to do that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell icon so that you know when a new episode drops. And then just leave us whatever comments you yes. want to leave us. Ooh, they could be nasty comments. Honestly, yeah. at this point, I don't yeah. care. We just need something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they can even be like first. I don't care. Doesn't uh, matter. Uh, all right, all right. Whatever. I don't know. What What do kids do nowadays? And they leave well, a comment. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Yeah. Fart noise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're, yeah. we'll get into that later. Anyways, right. Yeah, we'll see you guys next Good week. I, I just hate first comments. Wow. <laughs>